Hello and welcome to Portfolio Matters. In today's brief podcast, I will be discussing whether rising energy bills in the UK will cause a recession. All our UK viewers will be aware that gas and electricity prices are rising rapidly in the UK and are forecast to rise further later in the year. So this is the maximum price that utilities can charge UK consumers for energy in the UK as set by the regulator Ofgem. And you'll see that it has risen from a low of £1,042 per annum in February 2020 to the current £1,971, yes, that's a 90% increase in uh, two years, and is forecast to rise further to £2,600 per annum from the 1st of October 2022. Now, in our weekly update, I looked at figures from the Office of National Statistics and calculated that the rise in energy bills alone would cause a fall in consumer discretionary expenditure of around 15% by the end of the year. But yesterday, the Mann Institute put out a piece arguing that the fall in discretionary expenditure would actually be quite manageable they are forecasting that if UK wages rise by 3.5%, then the fall in discretionary expenditure would only be around 2.8%. And in fact, if the average UK pay rise is 5%, then it would be essentially zero. There would be no fall in discretionary expenditure. And so their conclusion was that a recession in the UK was unlikely. And they also pointed out that the expected fall in UK discretionary expenditure of around 2.6% was not out of line with historic experience. So in 2011 and 2012, we had similar falls in uh, consumer discretionary expenditure without there being a recession. So what's going on? Well, these are the Mann Institute numbers. And the first thing to note is that they have UK gas and electricity bills rising by only 30%. Now, if we then look at Ofgem's price cap numbers, as stated here and forecast number for October 2022, then we can calculate that the average price cap for 2021 was around £1,149. And for 2022, it will be around £1,955, i.e. an increase of 70%. And a lot of UK consumers will actually experience a worse rise than this, because in 2021, they will have been on tariffs from their energy provider, which were below the cap. That was certainly the case for me. And so if we feed through a 70% rise, so assuming that all UK consumers received the price cap, then we get a fall in discretionary expenditure of 6.3% if pay rises are 3.5% or 3.6% if they're 5%. But the other thing they've done is they have used nominal numbers. So they've assumed that wages will rise by 3.5%, but they've taken no account of rising inflation and real spending power. Now we know that UK CPI inflation is currently running at 7%. So UK consumers therefore face a fall of 6.3% in nominal terms of their discretionary spending, but adjusting for 7% inflation, that becomes 
13.3% real. And if we look at the exit rate for 2022, so, so after Ofgem's second rise in the price cap starting the 1st of October, the numbers get a lot worse. So then you, if you assume that UK wage rises are 3.5%, then they face a 9.7% fall in their nominal discretionary spending power, which becomes a fall of 16.7% real after adjusting for inflation. So that is more than enough to cause a recession in services. So UK consumers will have to cut back their spending on services such as cinemas, restaurants, um, takeaways, etc., by over 15% at the end of the year. And that will induce a recession. In summary, the Mann Institute numbers seem to paint a falsely reassuring picture of the expected fall in UK discretionary consumer spending because they only assume a 30% rise in average energy bills during 2022, whereas using the figures from Ofgem with an average rise of at least 70% and an end rate of 126% after the 1st of October, we get much larger falls in discretionary spending. And also they use nominal rather than real numbers and don't account for the 7% rise in UK inflation. So UK consumers face not just a fall in their nominal cons um, discretionary consumer spending, but also in the purchasing power of what's left. So, so in summary, we think that UK consumers will face a fall of around 15% in their real discretionary spending at the end of this year. So after the 1st of October, when the second round of price cap rises mm -hmm. occurs. And that will be enough to force the UK economy into a session. So be aware. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please can you press like and subscribe to the channel and it is goodbye from me, Keith Jordan. Goodbye. Full disclaimer, the material and information contained in this podcast is for information and entertainment purposes only and should not be relied upon for making a business, legal or any other decision. We may own or have a financial interest in any securities mentioned. Listeners should conduct their own research or consult a professional investment advisor before making any decisions regarding topics mentioned on the show. Whilst we endeavour to ensure that the information presented on the show is correct, we make no representations or warranties of any kind, expressed or implied, with respect to the podcast and website or to any information, products, services or related graphics discussed or presented in the podcast or website. Any reliance you place on such material is strictly at your own risk. You are solely responsible for the investment decisions you make. We will not be responsible for any errors or omissions in the podcast or website, including in articles or postings, for hyperlinks embedded in messages, or for any results obtained from the use of such information. Nor will we be liable for any loss or damage, including consequential damages, if any, caused by a reader's reliance on any information provided by the podcast or website. Please do not listen to the podcast if you do not accept self-responsibility for your actions.